Greg with Strange RV Tours. And we've got an unusual stop for you today. Um, if you've ever seen the movie Wonderland, you probably have heard this story, but we are up at uh, up on Wonderland Avenue in Hollywood, and uh, a gruesome murder took place up here. Um, the police department said it was bloodier than the Helter Skelter murders. Um, it involved John Holmes. John Holmes, um, it, it was late in his career. Actually, his career was pretty much over with. He couldn't uh, perform in adult films anymore. Um, nobody could really trust him. Um, he was highly addicted to cocaine and other drugs, apparently at this time. But um, one of his drug dealers lived in a home up here at 8763 Wonderland. And I'll show you the home here in a second. But anyhow, this was the home where this was the home here. Where the murders took place inside this white house here on wonderland avenue uh, john holmes had some friends that were drug dealers that were supplying him with drugs uh, there was other, another guy um, named eddie nash who uh, owned uh, several nightclubs here in town and john holmes had let his friends here at this property know about eddie nash where he lived and the fact that he had a lot of cocaine and cash on hand uh, john holmes had knew eddie nash because he was fencing stolen goods to eddie nash apparently in exchange for drugs and money um, the people here at this house took uh, John Holmes' word for it that Eddie Nash, uh, where he lived, and that he had lots of money and cash. They went over there and uh, held Eddie Nash at gunpoint while they basically robbed him of his valuables and his uh, jewelry, his uh, and two bags of cocaine, supposedly ten thousand dollars cash. And so, anyways, uh, Eddie Nash. Uh, was of course uh, embarrassed by the whole thing that he was supposed to be this you know uh, tough kind of gangster guy here in town and that this had happened to him well the next day Eddie Nash ran into John Holmes on uh, somewhere down in Hollywood and noticed that John Holmes was wearing a piece of jewelry that had been stolen from his property supposedly so Eddie Nash had his gangsters his his thugs pick up John Holmes bring him back to his house and they held him at gunpoint while they uh, got uh, information on who had committed these crimes against him and in return um, John Holmes was told that he would go with Eddie Nash's thugs back to this property here on Wonderland and that they would get the money the jewels and uh, the cocaine back and so anyways uh, um, John Holmes was told if he didn't uh, take them there and uh, enter the house with the thugs that uh, members of his family would be killed and that he would be killed. So John Holmes, under fearful fear of his life, decided he better go with them. <laughs> Needless to say, five people were bludgeoned in this house. Four of them died of their wounds. Uh, one of them survived. One female survived. Um, the, the murder itself was... Um, Oop. The murder was never solved, um, even though everybody knows who committed it and why it was committed. Um, but John Holmes did leave a palm print in blood on the uh, bed frame of one of the beds in the home and was later tried for murder. In the case, he was acquitted of murder, but um, everybody knows that he was possibly involved the police department actually think that he actually was involved in the the killings but um apparently they did or else they wouldn't have had him tried for murder but the uh, case is still unsolved to this day um if you've ever seen any of the crime photos or video from the uh, police department that were taken here at the, at the property uh it's very very gruesome very gruesome um four people were beaten to death with uh blunt objects and uh, needless to say uh, it was not a not a good ending for a lot of people a few other things I'd like to mention about the murders that took place up here at Wonderland Avenue um, when um, 
John Holmes had supposedly um, helped the drug dealers that were living here break into Eddie's, Eddie Nash's house by leaving a sliding glass door open uh, the last time that he had been there before he told them how to get into the property. And then once Eddie Nash had found out um, that John was involved, um, when he threatened John to bring his thugs back over to the to this Wonderland address and try to get the uh, drugs, money, and jewels back. Um, John came over here late at night. Um, he was he was able to get into the property because he knew that they had a key supposedly hidden on the side of the house. And the three thugs that three of Eddie Nash's thugs that were with John kind of crouched behind him so that they wouldn't uh, be seen while John entered the property first. Um, like, like I said, John, at this point in John's career, he was, he was not doing porn films anymore. He wasn't, he wasn't really able to perform anymore. Uh, he was highly, uh, uh, addicted to drugs. And, uh, uh, the people that lived in this property on Wonderland kind of treated him, you know, they, they liked, they liked the idea that they were friends with a celebrity. Um, uh, but they almost made fun of him in a way, um. It's really, really kind of a sad ending to John's life. He later died in 1988 uh, from complications from AIDS. Um, but uh, anyhow, I thought I'd give you a little more background information on, on the property and on, on the murders themselves. It's a very unusual, strange situation. Um, everybody, We are Greg and Janet with Strange RV Tours. If you've enjoyed this video or would like to see other videos of ours, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you get notifications when our new videos come out. Also, please hit the like button. We need lots of likes. So, but uh, anyhow, this is one of the strange and unusual places. Oh, by the way, one thing that I forgot to mention was that the, the home that we showed you was used in the movie. It is the actual home that the murders took place in, and it was featured in the film. So, if you get a chance, check it out. It's a very good movie. I believe Val Kilmer plays John Holmes in the movie. But, um, uh, it'll kind of give you a background and a history as to what actually happened here. It's pretty dark. Thanks a lot. Till next time. We'll see you later.